Hello, I'm Anita Bean with BeanDesigns.com. I want to take you through the steps of creating a scrapbook page using the GIMP. Our first step is going to be to open a new image. The image that you see here is our goal. This is what our, what our scrapbook page is going to look like. To open a new image, we go to File, New, or we can push Control N on our keyboard. We choose our width and our height. We have 11 inches wide by 8 inches tall, and I'm choosing 300 print pixels per inch. Press OK. In this video, we're going to get the background set up for our page. So we need to open up some papers. So I'm going to drag and drop the blue paper onto our open image. As this paper is opened onto the, our image, the layer will be filled in over on the right in the layer toolbar. Each layer will have a name. It's the name of the file that I'm opening into the document or the image. We're going to have two papers and a ribbon. on our scrapbook page. So here we have on our layer palette we have the two background papers and the ribbon. So I want to move the ribbon down a little bit on the page. So I'm going to push M for move and grab it and move it down. Now I want to rotate it. So we're going to click on the rotate tool. Rotate it click on the rotate to apply. Now we're going to select the paper, the red paper. I'm going to use the free select tool and I'm going to click on the image and draw a line down the middle of the ribbon up to the top across and back down again. We have a selection with marching ants. I'm going to push delete to delete what was inside the selection. Select none. So we have a ribbon on top of two papers. Our ribbon is two dimensional. So let's go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. We want to choose three for offset X and Y axis. Let's change the blur to 50%. I'm sorry, let's leave that blur at 30% and 40% opacity and click OK. And you'll notice that something weird happened because I was on the wrong layer. Um, I should have been on the ribbon layer, so let's do edit undo drop shadow and let's choose the proper layer and redo that. We want to uncheck allow resizing. Now we have a shadow on our ribbon. This is a very first step, very basic step to getting started, but you have to start somewhere. So Let's talk about how to save this so that we can come back to it later. We need to go to File, Save As, and we put in our title. We're going to say Sample Page. We're going to use XCF. That's the native format for the GIMP. It saves your file with the layers so that you can come back later and modify it. Well this is the first video on developing a scrapbook page using, using the GIMP. I'm Anita Bean from BeanDesigns.com and we should have a video too. Look forward to video two when we'll pull in our pictures onto our page.